Hello guys, today we will be calculating accumulated simple interest. So, if Johnny took out a $500 loan that charges 15% simple interest every year, if he pays the loan back in 12 years, how much simple interest will he have accumulated? So, if your loan is $500 and you have 15% simple interest every year, that would mean that you have on your first year, on your first year, what would you be paying? Well, you'd be paying that $500, so $500, and then you would have to times by 1.15, right? That's how much you'd be paying in your first year. The interest which you'd be paying is just the interest. So let's do this. Interest, which you'd be paying is just 500 times by 1.15, uh, sorry, 0.15, so 500 times by 0.15 is the interest that you'd pay in your first year. Now in your second year, you'd be paying simple interest, so it's not going to compound in your second year, so this is our second year, so in our second year, what would interest be paying? So second year. Now we're going to ignore this part over here. We're just going to look for the interest because the question is just asking for simple interest accumulated. Okay, so I'm going to just erase this. So the interest on the second year is going to be five. We're going to have five. We're going to have this on the first year, the same thing. 500 times 0 0.15. Let me keep that color coded. Times 0 0.15 plus. 500 times 0 0.15, and so on and so forth, right? Because we're just paying 15% off our initial principal amount, which is $500. So over 12 years, how much interest would we have accumulated? Well, let's make a, make a thing. So 12 years, 12 years. Over 12 years, the interest accumulated would be our principal, which is $500, $500 principal times by 0 0.15, but we would be doing 500 times 0 0.15, 500 times 0 0.15, 500 times 0 0.15. This would be occurring 12 times. So 0 0.15, and now we'll do times 12. So we can also so we can see that this is, so the total simple interest accumulated over 12 years would be, let me take out my calculator and do this, 500. You could do this in your head as well, but just for security, I'm going to check it on my calculator. That's by 0 0.15 times 12. This would be $900 simple interest. Now, using this, we can also create a formula for simple interest. This is our principal principal. This number is our rate, right? This is our rate. And this is the number of uh, number of times. This is our and time that uh, number of times repeated. So where we have to, you know, add our rate on. So we can see that the formula which we can create from this is simple interest equals simple interest, simple interest accumulated, simple interest accumulated is just going to be our principal, so our principal times by our rate, which would be multiplied by our time. So principal times rate times time is just our simple interest accumulated. And I also made this little graph over here on the side for you to see how the simple interest would be accumulated. So over the first year, it would be around here, second year around there. And then by our 12th year, we can see it lines up just right there with $900, right? 12 years, we've gone this. Our x-axis, by the way, is our years and our y-axis is our interest accumulated interest accumulated i hope you enjoyed this video thank you and goodbye